Hi everybody. Um, this video is to finish the shocks from the beginning one. So you'll see me fumbling around with these little dangerous springs and I'm going to poke my eye out someday with these things. Anyway, I'll let you watch it until I have something to say. I believe, it looks like I might have it out of sequence, but hey, it might be an old age event. Had to cut the piston rod to the right length, cutting the spring to the right length. Had to spread it open because that is some hard steel. It is a steel wire. Spreading the coils to get it to the right length. Yep, a little more. See my hand shaking like a um, seven on the Richter scale. I had uh, so, uh, shoulder surgery on uh, my rotator cuff, and my arm, my right arm, is very weak. <laughs> and it's been kind of fun doing this, but it's actually been therapeutic. So. Drilling the hole for the except the piston rod. Make sure. Okay. So it gets my magical elixir of shading or um, bringing out highlights and it's kind of like uh, no oil or that um, other stuff I can't think of the panel line but this is India ink uh, thinned down with water with some uh, burnt umber acrylic paint artist paint in that in the funny thing that is, is that might look dark right now, but it dries very light, so it's a build-up method. So the more you do it, the more pronounced it gets. I'm going to give the coil springs the old graphite to make it look like metal. I thought I'd be smart. Nope, I went with my good old fingers. It works the best. It gives a slight metal sheen to every metal part. Um, anyway, adds highlights. Which, what I'm making here now is the upper shock mount. And there will, that's where the shock, the upper part, uh, you see the eyelet on the top of the shock. And I'm making that now. This is the second try. The first try, I did it stupid because it was, the camera was in front of me and I thought I could do it by cutting them out squares. Instead, it's just better to do it by strip and then drill the holes. So, anyway.
this is the bolt for the shock mounts. <laughs> yeah, piece of screws, piece of sprues stretched, and I'll slide them all on there if I can get my wobbly hand to cooperate. There, come on, there you go, big guy. There you go. Yeah, good boy. Oh no, four more to do. And this is speeded up. <laughs> What a cripple. I see I'm still on number two. Now I'll hit it with some liquid glue. Um, usually I use Plastistruct. It isn't as strong as Tamiya or uh, Mr. Glue, whatever it is. Um, oops, don't want that stuff going on. Anyway, they don't have to be spaced evenly because you'll see. But they do have to be straight up and down. So I'm showing you how the sprue will fit through the hole, but the, I don't know why I drilled the hole more. I was going to grandiose plan of pinning it. Yeah, there's the finished one. And that's showing you, obviously the bolts will be trimmed. I'm making the other side, 